in the vast expanse of the cosmos. Amidst the twinkling stars and swirling galaxies lies the Galactic Council's domain. This conglomerate of civilizations, each with their own unique cultures and technologies, governs the known universe with a focus on peace and cooperation. Among these myriad species, humanity stands out, not for the sophistication of their technology, but for their seemingly simplistic and outdated approach. Earth, a vibrant planet of diverse ecosystems and cultures, has recently been inducted into the Galactic Council. The human penchant for mechanical and digital technology, in a universe where bioengineering and energy manipulation are commonplace, has marked them as an oddity. Where others see limitations, however, humans see versatility and resilience. The narrative begins aboard the USS Vanguard, a human exploration vessel on the fringes of Council space. Captain Elena Morales and her crew navigate the unknown their ship equipped with technology that seems archaic to their alien counterparts, a fusion of alloys, circuits, and sheer human ingenuity. Despite skepticism from other species, the Vanguard and its crew have earned a reputation for tackling missions that many would deem impossible. As the Vanguard docks at the Council's orbital station above Xylof 5 for resupply, a diverse crowd gathers. Alien delegates and traders eye the human vessel with a mix of curiosity and disbelief. Their technology, which relies on biosymbiotic interfaces and quantum energy fields, makes the mechanical nature of the Vanguard appear almost primitive. During the crew's stay, a competitive simulation is held, a regular event meant to foster camaraderie and showcase the technological prowess of Council species. Against teams equipped with the latest in biotech armor and energy weapons, the humans enter with their mechanically engineered suits and solid projectile firearms. The competition begins, and the Vanguard's crew quickly falls behind, their equipment seemingly outmatched. Yet as the challenges progress, the humans' adaptability and strategic thinking come to the forefront. Captain Morales leads her team through a series of ingenious maneuvers, leveraging their primitive technology in unexpected ways. In the final challenge, set in a simulated environment hostile to most technology, the human team's reliance on simple, durable tech becomes their greatest strength. While other teams' more advanced equipment falters, the humans persevere, securing a surprising but undeniable victory. The crowd is stunned, whispers spread among the alien spectators, their perceptions of humanity and its technology challenged. Captain Morales and her crew, amidst congratulations and newfound respect, return to the vanguard, their success a testament to human ingenuity. This victory, however, is just the beginning. As the Vanguard departs Xylof 5, a distress signal is intercepted, a call for aid that will thrust Captain Morales and her crew into a crisis that threatens the galaxy itself. A crisis that, unbeknownst to them, will prove that in a universe where everyone uses technology, it is the humans who have truly mastered it. Following their unexpected triumph in the simulation competition, the crew of the USS Vanguard becomes the subject of both intrigue and skepticism among the Galactic Council species. Their victory, attributed to human resourcefulness and their unorthodox technological approaches, begins to alter the perception of humanity's place in the cosmic hierarchy. As the Vanguard continues its journey through the galaxy, it encounters a series of challenges that further showcase the unique human ability to leverage their primitive technology in innovative ways. A distress call from a freighter caught in a quantum storm considered a death sentence by most spacefaring races, presents the next test of human ingenuity. Captain Elena Morales and her crew navigate the vanguard into the heart of the storm, using a combination of electromagnetic pulses and shield modulation techniques discarded by other species in favor of more advanced protections. Their successful rescue of the freighter and its diverse crew, consisting of species from across the galaxy, spreads their reputation even further. In the aftermath, the Vanguard hosts a meeting with representatives of the rescued freighter's crew. Among them is Threx, a biomechanical engineer from a species known for their advanced bioengineering. Initially dismissive of the human's reliance on physical machinery and electronics, Threx becomes fascinated by the human's ability to repair and adapt their technology in environments where his species' biotech would falter. This interaction introduces a subplot exploring the exchange of ideas and technologies between humans and other galactic species. Threx and the human engineers, led by Chief Engineer Laura Chen, 
engage in a series of collaborative projects, blending human mechanical engineering with alien biotech. These projects, while experimental, hint at the potential for a new era of technological synthesis. Meanwhile, the Galactic Council faces a mounting crisis, a series of unexplained disappearances of ships along a key trade route. The Council, bogged down by bureaucracy and conflicting interests, struggles to respond effectively. The Vanguard, with its growing reputation for handling the impossible, is requested, despite some members' reservations, to investigate. The investigation leads the crew into uncharted territory, where they encounter a previously unknown anomaly that disrupts both conventional and advanced technologies. The Vanguard's more mechanical systems prove less susceptible, allowing them to navigate closer than any other vessel could. Within the anomaly, the crew discovers the cause of the disappearances, a long dormant defense mechanism left by an ancient civilization, triggered by the specific energy signatures of modern galactic technology. The Vanguard's success in approaching the anomaly becomes the key to understanding and eventually neutralizing the threat, saving countless lives, and further elevating humanity's status among the galactic community. This chapter not only solidifies humanity's reputation as masters of technology, but also sets the stage for a deeper conflict. The anomaly's ancient origins hint at forgotten dangers lurking in the galaxy, requiring a blend of old and new technologies and the unique human talent for innovation to confront. In the wake of their successful mission navigating the ancient defense mechanism, the USS Vanguard and its crew become symbols of human potential within the Galactic Council. However, this newfound esteem is soon overshadowed by a crisis that threatens the very fabric of the galaxy. A virulent nanoplague, origins unknown, begins to spread through the Council territories, infecting both biological and technological systems with devastating efficiency. The plague's ability to adapt quickly renders most advanced technologies, especially the biotech and energy-based systems relied upon by many species, virtually useless against it. The Vanguard is recalled to Earth, where a special assembly of the United Nations Space Coalition has been convened. Amidst the assembly, a heated debate rages over how to address the plague. Traditional methods and advanced alien technologies have failed to stop its spread, and panic is beginning to set in. Humanity, however, proposes an audacious plan. Leveraging their mastery of older, more primitive technologies, they suggest creating a series of firebreaks, zones of dead space using electromagnetic pulses and radiation fields, uninhabitable to the nanoplague's biotechnological nature. The proposal is met with skepticism by some members of the Council, who see it as a desperate and potentially harmful gamble. However, the Vanguard's recent achievements lend weight to the human argument, and with few alternatives available, the Council reluctantly agrees to the plan. Captain Morales and her crew are tasked with leading the initiative, joined by a task force composed of ships and experts from various species, including Threx, who has now become an advocate for human ingenuity. The Vanguard's first mission under this new directive is to establish a firebreak around a key star system that serves as a major agricultural hub for the Council. Failure to protect it would mean famine and chaos for countless worlds. The operation is complex, requiring precise coordination between the Vanguard and the alien ships, many of which are equipped with technologies that need to be carefully integrated with human systems to create the firebreak without damaging the star system itself. The task force faces numerous challenges, from unexpected reactions between different technologies to attacks by pirate factions looking to exploit the chaos. In a tense sequence of events, the Vanguard and its allies manage to establish the firebreak, but not without cost. Several ships are lost, and the strain of operating in such a hostile environment takes its toll on both human and alien crew members. Yet, the success of the mission offers a glimmer of hope and a proof of concept for the strategy. This chapter showcases the strengths and weaknesses of humanity's approach to technology. While their reliance on simpler, more robust systems allows them to combat the nanoplague in ways other species cannot, it also highlights the limitations and dangers of such technology. The successful establishment of the firebreak serves as a testament to human resilience and ingenuity, but the losses incurred underscore the grave threat posed by the nanoplague and the long, difficult journey ahead in combating it. As the Vanguard and its task force prepare for their next mission, there's a palpable sense of unity among the crew. 
a mix of humans and aliens, all brought together by necessity and a shared goal. This unity, born of adversity, begins to sow the seeds for a new understanding and respect between humanity and the other species of the Galactic Council, setting the stage for future collaborations and a deeper exploration of what it means to truly master technology in the face of existential threats. Following the establishment of the first successful firebreak around the endangered star system, the USS Vanguard returns to Earth amidst a wave of cautious optimism. The victory, however temporary, against the nanoplague has galvanized the Galactic Council, with humanity at the forefront of a united effort to combat the threat. However, it's clear that the firebreaks are a stopgap measure. To truly defeat the nanoplague, a more permanent solution must be found. The United Nations Space Coalition, in partnership with the Galactic Council, establishes a joint task force to develop countermeasures against the plague. The task force, housed in a newly constructed orbital research facility, becomes a melting pot of the galaxy's brightest minds. Human scientists and engineers work side by side with their alien counterparts, including Threx and other experts from previously skeptical species, who are now eager to collaborate. Chief Engineer Laura Chen is appointed as one of the lead researchers tasked with integrating human mechanical engineering with alien biotech and energy systems. Their goal is ambitious, to create a hybrid technology capable of neutralizing the nanoplague, not just containing it. The facility buzzes with activity as teams tackle the problem from multiple angles, developing nanodrones that can hunt down and deactivate plague particles, engineering biotech filters that can purify infected systems, and experimenting with quantum fields to disrupt the plague's replication process. Meanwhile, Captain Morales and the crew of the Vanguard embark on missions to secure critical resources needed for the research. Navigating through plagued zones and facing off against both the nanoplague's effects and opportunistic threats looking to take advantage of the chaos. These missions are fraught with danger, but they provide essential data and materials that fuel the task force's experiments. The narrative alternates between the high-stakes action of the Vanguard's missions and the intense, collaborative atmosphere of the research facility. Tensions run high as the team faces setbacks and breakthroughs, underscored by the personal stories of the individuals involved. The human's pragmatic approach to problem-solving clashes with and is complemented by the more theoretical and abstract methodologies of their alien colleagues. A breakthrough comes when a team led by Laura Chen and Threx develops a prototype device that combines human electromagnetic pulse technology with alien quantum field manipulation. In a dramatic test, the device successfully neutralizes a controlled nanoplague sample without harming the surrounding biological or technological systems. However, the celebration is short-lived. The task force learns that the nanoplague is evolving, developing resistance to the established firebreaks and threatening to breach quarantine zones. The stakes are raised, and the pressure mounts to refine and deploy the new technology before it's too late. This chapter highlights the power of diversity and collaboration in the face of a common enemy. The fusion of human and alien technology represents a new frontier in galactic innovation, symbolizing a shift in how humanity is perceived by the universe at large, not just as users of technology, but as unparalleled masters and innovators. As the chapter closes, the Vanguard and the Orbital Research Facility stand as beacons of hope, ready to lead the charge in the next phase of the battle against the nanoplague. With the prototype device proving successful in neutralizing the nanoplague in controlled conditions, the next challenge for the USS Vanguard and the Joint Task Force is to scale this solution to confront the evolving threat on a galactic scale. The realization that the nanoplague is not just a singular entity, but a rapidly adapting ecosystem, forces the coalition to reconsider their strategy. It's no longer enough to fight the plague in isolated skirmishes. A unified, galaxy-wide response is required. Captain Elena Morales finds herself at the center of this unprecedented mobilization effort. The Vanguard is tasked with not only testing the effectiveness of the new hybrid technology in real-world conditions, but also with securing alliances across the galaxy to implement it universally. The mission is diplomatic as much as it is scientific, requiring a delicate balance of negotiation, demonstration, and mutual trust building. The narrative shifts to depict a series of tense, 
engaging encounters with various species and factions within the Galactic Council. Some species are naturally skeptical of the human-led initiative, their prejudices and historical grievances clouding their judgment. Others, whose societies have been ravaged by the nanoplague, are desperate for any solution, willing to overlook old enmities for the sake of survival. A pivotal moment comes when the vanguard arrives at a system on the brink of collapse, its inhabitants decimated by the plague. The crew deploys the device in a daring operation, navigating through swarms of nanoplague entities to reach the system's core. The device's activation is a tense, momentous sequence, with the fate of an entire species hanging in the balance. The operation is a resounding success. The plague entities within the system are neutralized, and the ecosystem begins to show signs of recovery. This victory serves as a powerful demonstration of the Coalition's capabilities, swaying opinion across the galaxy. Species that were once hesitant now come forward, offering their resources, technologies, and support. In the aftermath of the operation, a grand assembly is convened on Earth, where representatives from across the galaxy gather to formalize their alliance against the nanoplague. Humanity's role in leading the charge is acknowledged, but the focus is on the collective effort, the unity of diverse species working together towards a common goal. The assembly marks the birth of the Galactic Unity Coalition, a new entity dedicated to combating existential threats through shared knowledge and mutual cooperation. This chapter not only showcases the Vanguard's heroics, but also delves into the complexities of galactic diplomacy and the transformative power of a united front against a common enemy. The formation of the Galactic Unity Coalition represents a paradigm shift in galactic politics, with humanity at the heart of this new alliance, not as rulers but as equals among the stars. As the Vanguard prepares for its next mission, the crew reflects on their journey thus far, from outcasts and underdogs to pivotal players on the galactic stage. They understand that the road ahead is fraught with challenges, but the unity and diversity of their alliance give them hope. For the first time, the galaxy stands together, not just in survival, but in the pursuit of a brighter future, with the vanguard leading the way. The formation of the Galactic Unity Coalition marks a turning point in the battle against the nanoplague. With a newfound sense of purpose and camaraderie, the coalition focuses on executing a series of coordinated strikes against the most heavily infected systems, aiming to reclaim and restore them before the plague can further evolve. The USS Vanguard, equipped with the newly refined hybrid technology, leads the offensive, embodying the coalition's diverse strengths and united resolve. Captain Elena Morales and her crew, now seasoned veterans in the fight against the nanoplague, approach their mission with a mixture of determination and cautious optimism. The first target is a strategic system that serves as a vital junction for several key trade routes, currently under siege by the plague. The system's loss would not only be a significant blow to the Coalition's supply lines, but also a moral victory for the plague, if it could indeed be said to have a will. The operation is meticulously planned, combining human tactical acumen with alien technological prowess. The Vanguard is joined by a fleet composed of ships from various Coalition members, each equipped with the anti-plague device. The fleet's approach is stealthy, using advanced cloaking technologies to bypass the plague's sensory mechanisms. As they near the target system, tension mounts. The plan requires precision timing and flawless execution from every member of the Coalition fleet. The Vanguard leads the charge, its crew executing their roles with practiced efficiency. Captain Morales gives the order, and the devices are activated simultaneously across the fleet enveloping the system in a wave of quantum fields designed to neutralize the plague. The battle that follows is intense and chaotic. Swarms of plague entities reacting to the threat converge on the Coalition fleet, testing their defenses and resolve. The Vanguard's crew fights valiantly, guiding the fleet through the onslaught, their actions a testament to humanity's courage and ingenuity. Amidst the chaos, a critical moment arrives when the Vanguard's device overtaxed by the sheer volume of plague entities, begins to falter. Quick thinking by Chief Engineer Laura Chen and her team, with assistance from their alien counterparts, manages to reroute power and stabilize the device, averting disaster. The operation is a success, but not without cost. Several coalition ships are lost, and the toll on the crew is heavy. Yet the liberation of the system serves as a beacon of hope 
and a proof of concept for the coalition strategy. The victory is celebrated across the galaxy, bolstering morale and solidifying the coalition's unity. In the aftermath, the Vanguard and its allies take stock of their losses and victories. Captain Morales, reflecting on the operation, recognizes the immense challenges ahead, but also the unbreakable spirit of the coalition. Humanity's role as a unifying force is more evident than ever. Their mastery of technology combined with the diverse capabilities of their allies, making them a formidable force against the plague. This chapter underscores the theme of unity and diversity, showcasing how the coalition's collective strengths can overcome seemingly insurmountable odds. The Vanguard's pivotal role in the operation highlights humanity's unique position in the galaxy, not just as innovators and warriors, but as leaders in a fight that transcends species and borders, a fight for the very survival of the galactic community. In the wake of their hard-fought victory, the USS Vanguard and the Galactic Unity Coalition faced the daunting task of maintaining momentum against the Nano Plague. The successful operation has proven their strategy effective, yet the adaptive nature of the plague presents a constant challenge, evolving in response to their tactics. The Coalition, buoyed by their recent success, is determined to press the advantage, launching a series of attacks to reclaim infected systems. However, it's during the planning of these subsequent missions that an unexpected breakthrough occurs, shifting the dynamics of the conflict and offering a glimmer of hope for a more permanent solution. Dr. Arya Singh, a human virologist working alongside alien pathogen specialists on the orbital research facility, discovers a pattern in the plague's mutations. With this knowledge, they develop a modified version of the hybrid technology that not only neutralizes the plague entities, but also prevents them from adapting to future interventions. This breakthrough promises to be the key to not just pushing back the plague, but potentially eradicating it. However, to deploy this new weapon effectively, the Coalition must launch a daring operation into the heart of the most heavily infected region of the galaxy, a task fraught with peril. The Vanguard is once again at the forefront, tasked with escorting a prototype device deep into enemy territory. The mission is not just a military operation, but a race against time, as the plague continues to evolve and spread. The journey is treacherous, with the Coalition fleet navigating through areas of space warped and ravaged by the plague. The Vanguard's crew, drawing on their diverse experiences and the cumulative knowledge of the Coalition, manages to overcome each obstacle, demonstrating the strength of unity and diversity. Their resolve is tested by both the external dangers of the plague and the internal pressures of carrying the weight of the galaxy's hopes on their shoulders. As they reach the target region, the operation's complexity becomes apparent. The area is swarming with plague entities, more concentrated and aggressive than ever encountered. The Coalition fleet, using a combination of stealth, decoy tactics, and direct engagement, fights its way through to deploy the device. The moment of activation is tense, with the entire galaxy watching through relayed broadcasts. The device works, exceeding expectations. The plague entities in the region begin to disintegrate, and crucially, there are no immediate signs of adaptation or resistance. The operation, while not without loss, marks a significant turning point in the battle against the nanoplague, showcasing the potential to finally end the threat. In the aftermath, there's a palpable shift in the galaxy's mood. The Coalition's victory is celebrated not just as a military success, but as a symbol of hope. The Vanguard's return is met with gratitude and admiration, cementing humanity's role as not only innovators, but as unifiers and protectors within the galactic community. This chapter, pivotal in the narrative arc, emphasizes the themes of perseverance, innovation, and unity. The Coalition's ability to adapt and evolve in the face of an ever-changing threat mirrors the very nature of the plague they fight against. The Vanguard's central role in the mission reinforces the idea that in the vastness of the galaxy, humanity's greatest strength lies in its capacity to bring together diverse beings towards a common cause, mastering not just technology, but the very essence of cooperation and resilience. The turning tide brings a new dawn to the Galactic Unity Coalition, but with the significant victory comes the realization that the final and most formidable challenge lies ahead. Intelligence gathered from the successful operation reveals the source of the nanoplague, a rogue planet drifting through the galaxy, completely enveloped by the plague. 
acting as its nucleus. The coalition decides that to end the threat once and for all, they must destroy this nucleus. The USS Vanguard, at the heart of this monumental task, is outfitted with the latest version of the hybrid technology, designed not only to neutralize the plague, but to penetrate and disintegrate the rogue planet's core. This mission is not just another battle. It is the culmination of the Coalition's efforts, a final stand against the darkness that has threatened to engulf the galaxy. Captain Elena Morales and her crew understand the gravity of their task. The Vanguard leads a fleet composed of the most advanced ships from across the Coalition, each carrying a piece of the hybrid technology. Their approach to the rogue planet is met with resistance unlike any they've encountered before, as if the plague itself is aware of the existential threat they pose. The Coalition fleet engages in a fierce battle with the plague entities, which swarm in defense of their nucleus. The Vanguard's crew showcases exceptional bravery and ingenuity, employing tactics that leverage the unique strengths of their diverse allies. The battle is intense, a maelstrom of energy blasts, evasive maneuvers, and strategic deployments of the hybrid technology. In a climactic moment, the Vanguard makes a desperate push towards the rogue planet, its escorts fending off the relentless assault of the plague entities. The ship's passage is fraught with danger, every system pushed to its limit, every crew member working with unwavering focus. Captain Morales, embodying the resolve of the entire galaxy, gives the order to activate the device. The explosion of light and energy that follows is blinding, a beacon in the dark space, visible even from distant worlds. The rogue planet, along with the nucleus of the nanoplague, disintegrates in a spectacle of destruction and liberation. The plague entities, deprived of their source, begin to collapse across the galaxy, their threat evaporating like mist under the sun. In the aftermath, the coalition fleet, battered but unbroken, gathers around the remnants of the rogue planet. The victory is profound, not just in the strategic elimination of the plague, but in the unity it fostered across the galaxy. The Vanguard and its crew, once seen as representatives of a primitive and underdeveloped species, are hailed as heroes, champions of a cause that transcended species and systems. This chapter, the climax of the narrative, is a testament to the power of unity and the triumph of a coalition built on diversity and mutual respect. The battle against the nanoplague, culminating in the destruction of its nucleus, symbolizes the overcoming of seemingly insurmountable odds through cooperation and shared determination. As the fleet makes its way back to Earth, there's a sense of closure, but also of beginning. The galaxy has been forever changed by the events that unfolded, with humanity at the epicenter of this transformation. The Vanguard's journey, from a ship on a routine mission to the spearhead of the greatest battle the galaxy has ever seen, reflects humanity's journey from isolation to being integral members of a united galactic community. As the dust settles on the battlefield of the rogue planet, the galaxy breathes a collective sigh of relief. The threat of the nanoplague, which had loomed like a specter over countless worlds, is finally lifted. The USS Vanguard, scarred yet steadfast, leads the Coalition fleet back to Earth, their return heralded as the dawn of a new era in galactic history. The aftermath of the conflict is a time for reflection, healing, and rebuilding. Worlds that had been ravaged by the plague begin the slow process of recovery, supported by the Galactic Unity Coalition. The Coalition itself, born out of necessity, solidifies into a permanent alliance, its purpose evolving from defense against a common enemy to the promotion of peace, cooperation, and shared prosperity across the galaxy. Captain Elena Morales and her crew are welcomed home as heroes. Their bravery and leadership are celebrated not just on Earth, but across Coalition worlds. However, the victory is bittersweet. The cost of the war against the nanoplague was high, with many lives lost and worlds altered forever. Memorials are held across the galaxy, honoring those who fell, ensuring their sacrifices are never forgotten. In the wake of the conflict, humanity finds itself in a changed position within the galactic community. No longer are they viewed as the newcomers with outdated technology. Instead, they are respected as innovators, unifiers, and leaders. The Vanguard's success has shattered preconceived notions about technology and progress, demonstrating that mastery over technology is not just about having the most advanced tools, but understanding how to use them effectively. 
the establishment of a new galactic council is announced, with representatives from all member species, including humanity. The Council is tasked with overseeing the continued efforts to rebuild and to prevent future crises through shared knowledge and resources. The principles of the Galactic Unity Coalition, diversity, cooperation, and mutual respect, form the foundation of this new governing body. Chief Engineer Laura Chen and Dr. Arya Singh, among others from the Vanguard's crew, are involved in the creation of a cross-species research and innovation center. This center aims to foster technological and cultural exchange between coalition members, ensuring that the lessons learned from the conflict with the nanoplague are applied to future challenges. As peace and stability return to the galaxy, the Vanguard undergoes repairs and upgrades, preparing for its next mission. The crew, though forever changed by their experiences, looks forward to continuing their journey of exploration and discovery. Their legacy, however, extends beyond their adventures. They have become symbols of what can be achieved when disparate beings unite for a common cause. This chapter, serving as the denouement of the narrative, emphasizes the themes of recovery and hope. The victory over the nanoplague is not seen as an end, but as a beginning. A chance for the galaxy to build something stronger and more inclusive from the ashes of conflict. Humanity's role in this new galactic order is not as rulers, but as equal partners sharing their unique perspective and ingenuity with their fellow species. The Vanguard's return is not just a homecoming, but a promise, a commitment to the ideals of the Galactic Unity Coalition and to the pursuit of a brighter future for all beings across all worlds. The galaxy stands at the threshold of a new epoch. The eradication of the nanoplague has not only removed an existential threat, but also reshaped the interstellar political landscape. At the heart of this transformation is Earth. Once an outlier in the galactic community, now a central hub of innovation, diplomacy, and unity, the USS Vanguard, embodying the spirit of this new era, is ready to embark on its next mission, not as a warship, but as a vessel of exploration and ambassadorship. Captain Elena Morales, now a celebrated figure across the galaxy, addresses her crew and the representatives of the Galactic Unity Coalition gathered at Earth's space dock. Her speech is one of gratitude, reflection, and forward-looking optimism. She speaks of the Vanguard's upcoming mission as a symbol of the Coalition's commitment to exploring the unknown, not for conquest, but for knowledge and mutual growth. The Coalition has paved the way for a new initiative, the Galactic Exploration Alliance, GEA, a collective effort to chart unexplored regions of the galaxy, seek out new civilizations, and establish peaceful contact. The Vanguard is to be the flagship of this initiative, equipped with the latest in hybrid technology and manned by a diverse crew representing the Coalition's member species. Chief Engineer Laura Chen, alongside her team and alien collaborators, unveils the Vanguard's upgrades. The ship now features an integrated technology platform that combines human ingenuity with alien advancements, creating systems more versatile and powerful than any seen before. This technological symbiosis is a testament to the Coalition's guiding principle, that diversity is strength and unity is the path to a brighter future. As the Vanguard prepares to depart, the narrative shifts to the wider galaxy. Worlds once on the brink of devastation are now thriving, their recovery accelerated by shared technologies and resources. The scars of the conflict with the nanoplague remain, but they serve as reminders of the resilience and solidarity that saved the galaxy from despair. The Galactic Council, with representatives from all corners of the galaxy, convenes to ratify the GEA's charter. This moment, broadcast across the galaxy, marks the official beginning of a new chapter in galactic history. The Council's discussions reflect a newfound harmony, focusing on exploration, environmental preservation, and cultural exchange. As the Vanguard leaves Earth's orbit, the crew looks out at the stars with a sense of wonder and purpose. Their mission is clear, to explore, to connect, and to protect the galaxy's vast, diverse tapestry of life. The ship, once a symbol of humanity's struggle against the nanoplague, is now a beacon of hope and unity. The narrative closes on a hopeful note, with the vanguard warping into the unknown. The galaxy, once divided by fear and suspicion, now looks forward to the future with optimism and a shared sense of responsibility. Humanity's journey from a newcomer to a leader in the galactic community underscores the story's central message, 
that through unity, innovation, and mutual respect, the galaxy can face any challenge and emerge stronger. This final chapter not only concludes the Vanguard story, but also sets the stage for new adventures. It's a testament to the enduring spirit of exploration and the unbreakable bonds formed in the crucible of shared adversity. The galaxy, once darkened by the shadow of the nanoplague, now shines brightly, illuminated by the light of cooperation and the endless possibilities of the cosmos.